about the great trumpet blast in Matthew chapter 24 verse 31. Jesus begins teaching about his physical return to earth in those three verses actually, starting in verse 29, then verse 30 and 31. Here's something else, very important though. When you read Revelation's own specific account in Revelation chapter 19, verses 11 and 14 of the physical return of Christ, you'll see in Revelation that there is no mention whatsoever in the book of Revelation of this great trumpet sounding at Christ's return. The trumpet of Matthew 24, verse 31, that I just talked about. It's not mentioned in the book of Revelation, chapter 19. Now, even though it's not mentioned in Revelation, just the fact that Jesus himself specifically stated in Matthew 24, verse 31, that a great trumpet blast would take place at his physical return is proof enough to be 100% sure about it taking place at his physical return, even though the book of Revelation chapter 19 doesn't mention that great trumpet at all. So that's the first category this morning, being the great trumpet of Matthew 24, verse 31, at the Lord's physical return. Now let's get into the second and final category, which is a little lengthier, and let's look at the rapture trumpet of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. And it states, I'm reading it, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, which refers to the rapture. And that's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. And the other rapture account is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52, which tells us that the rapture trumpet is, in fact, the last trumpet. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. It is the last trumpet that constitutes the rapture. And so... This last trumpet of 1 Corinthians 15.52, depicting the rapture, is specifically shown in Revelation's chronology, in Revelation chapter 11, verse 15, as being one and the same. This last trumpet of 1 Corinthians 15.52 is one and the same as Revelation's seventh trumpet, in Revelation chapter 11, verse 15, which is the actual rapture of the church. So you can circle in your Bible, circle Revelation 11, verse 15, and write the word rapture in the margin right next to it, because Revelation 11, verse 15, is the actual rapture of the body of Christ. And here's one other important point is that the seventh trumpet of Revelation 11.15 is literally the last trumpet mentioned in the rest of the book of Revelation, precisely as the Apostle Paul stated in 1 Corinthians 15.52, calling it the last trumpet. So there is definitely clear and total continuity here with the Apostle Paul's statements and in the book of Revelation. Complete continuity. Now, in terms of the timing of the rapture, let's let's talk about that now, which is the easy part, the timing of it. And so, without question, this last and seventh trumpet, depicted in Revelation 11.15, tells us that the rapture will occur at some point within the first three and a half years of the coming seven-year tribulation. And we know this since chapter 11 of Revelation definitely falls within the first three and a half years. And we also know that chapter 13 of Revelation represents the exact middle point of tribulation in Revelation's chronology. And so in terms of the timing of the rapture, 
then although no one knows the day or hour, the timing of the rapture has been clearly shown to us as being within the first three and a half years, according to Revelation chapter 11, verse 15, the seventh and final trumpet. Now, here's the last topic that I want to address. Revelation's account of the rapture trumpet of Revelation 11:15 shows, in my view, that it is highly probable that the rapture will take place during the Feast of Trumpets, which we know from Leviticus and the Jewish calendar occurs every year in either September or October of any given year, the Feast of Trumpets. And so at the sounding of this seventh trumpet of Revelation 11:15, we are shown in the following four verses that an immediate glorious celebration erupts throughout all of heaven, even saying in Revelation 11, verse 18, that rewards were given to the saints. Revelation 11, verse 18. And so this seventh trumpet blast shows the saints suddenly in heaven together in God's presence and that correlates exactly with the Feast of Trumpets since Leviticus requires that during the Feast of Trumpets the high priest must blow the trumpet as a signal to all of the field workers to stop their harvesting and to come together into the temple to worship God. So the point is, if the rapture occurs during the Feast of Trumpets, then again that would frame either September or October in any given year for the rapture to take place. So this September, uh, this uh, October Feast of Trumpets could not be the rapture unless the seven-year tribulation period starts at some point from this moment up to this October 3rd, 2016. Again, the seven-year tribulation period must start first before the rapture takes place, which occurs within the first three and a half years. Here's something else which reinforces the rapture taking place possibly during the Feast of Trumpets. And that is that two weeks after the Feast of Trumpets, comes the Feast of Tabernacles, which Leviticus tells us is when all of God's people, during the Feast of Tabernacles, all of God's people are safely together in God's presence and within His divine tabernacle, worshiping God. And here again, this is the exact picture being painted in heaven at the seventh trumpet, sounding in Revelation 11:15. And in the ensuing four verses through Revelation 11.19, this is after the rapture of 11.15 Revelation, this is 11.19, the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in God's temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake, meaning an, on the earth, and great hail. That's Revelation 11:19. And so, even the sequence of these two Old Testament feasts, the Feast of Trumpets and the Feast of Tabernacles, are shown in the same order in Revelation 11:15's seventh and last trumpet being the rapture, and then right afterwards resulting in the glorious celebration in the heavenly tabernacle in God's presence. And as we just saw in Revelation 11:19, that when the rapture event takes place in the heavens, and we're all back into the, the high heaven, ready for the marriage supper of the Lamb, then it will also be accompanied by a divine fireworks show, with lightnings, etc. Beyond anything ever seen on earth, of course, or even imaginable.